Following on from the swag Tesla Radiant collector that I did, the two most common requests have been one, try it in the sun, and two, try it high up. Now, trying it high up is only a little bit of a challenge which I've yet to resolve. And the reason is that is my roof height. So getting that onto the roof is not an easy task. I will do it, but it's not easy. However, it is easy to take it out into the sun. So that's what I've so done. Obviously, I've got pretty much the same setup that I had yesterday, but the idea here is that the sun hits the surface. So there's not a lot of point in using the swag plate um, setup that I used yesterday because most of that would be in shadow. So what I've done, I've taken one swag plate, I've connected up one side to the voltmeter, I've connected up to exactly the same earth, and as you can see, that's running at about 24 millivolts, and that's on the millivolt reading because we're only using one plate. I was expecting quite a low reading, and, and that's what we're getting. So it skips around a bit, 24, 25, 23 millivolts. Okay, so I've moved the thing outside. It's on the cardboard box, incidentally, to insulate it from ground, and now it's in direct sunlight. And I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but that's uh, jumping around between a sort of 129, 130 millivolts. And that's actually pretty cool. I'm not sure to what extent you could actually see the reading, but inside it was around about 20 millivolts, and outside it was around about 120 millivolts. Now, I did the single plate so that the sun hit the whole plate, but I thought that was really cool, and hopefully you did too, and um, thank you very much for watching.